Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora 4X. I of course am Sir Beardian and uh, today uh, we're going to see if we can get some more troops over onto Perth B and uh, smash ourselves some Xeno. Now, uh, before we get started, um, I took a look at our mineral situation and now that we have multiple colonies across multiple systems, and our deposits on Australia have been completely exhausted. I figured it was about time to make a resource chart. And here it is. Now, it's very simple, very bare bones, no automation whatsoever. There is, uh, somebody did make a slightly more automated one um, that is a lot more detailed. I believe it's on the Reddit somewhere. Uh, however, it does require you pulling, uh, resource, uh, pulling resources out with a script out of the database. So, uh, great for when you have a giant empire and you don't want to take a couple of hours to go through all your mineral sources. Uh, but I think that this one here, at least when you're starting out, is probably a lot easier. So, quick explanation. Uh, you have the minerals here across the um, across the horizontal, and you have the colonies across the top. And each uh, colony is has a quantity of deposit and how much is being currently mined out of that deposit. Each deposit is flagged using uh, how good it is. So green is a good deposit. So it means it has a reasonable or good amount of um, resources and also a reasonable accessibility. A mediocre deposit is one that ha is either relatively low in resources or potentially uh, has uh, low uh, accessibility. And these ones are mediocre. Uh, bat the orange is... An, a, a deposit that would otherwise be a good or mediocre one, but the accessibility is a 0.1. So the accessibility is like below 0.2. Uh, so between 0.1 and 0.2. In other words, where the accessibility is low enough that you would have to invest a huge amount of mines to get a recent, reasonable amount out of it. And a bad deposit is um, something that doesn't fall into either one of these. So, for example, the only the bad deposit that we have is Corbomide, which has 0.1 accessibility and also only has 72,000 units. So it's only got five digits. It doesn't have six digits. Um, so like you'll notice that all of our good ones are in the millions um, and all of our mediocre ones. The closest one that we have to five digits is this one here. And even that's six digits. So yeah, so with five digits, that's a bad deposit. So looking at this, we can see what resources we need to go for. Duranium, we have lots. Uh, Geelong is, it hasn't been mined yet because it doesn't have its mines yet, so we'll add those in later. But you'll see that uh, we have lots. We have three sources of duranium, and one of them is amazing. And that one's okay, and that one's also great. So we have three pretty good deposits of duranium. Uh, we have a source of, of neutronium. It's not amazing, but we have a source of it, and we don't use that much of it anyway. Um, Corbamide, we only have one terrible source of, so we want to go for Corbamide. Uh, we have two good sources of Tritanium, so that's good. We have, um, we have, we're not mining it, but we have one good source of Boronide. Uh, we have three okay sources of Macassium, so we probably want to look for a good one, uh, here. We have one, uh, bad accessibility deposit of Enderite, but we have a lot of it. So, mm, we'll see. Uh, Sorium, we have a couple of deposits. Iridium, we have only one good deposit. And Corundium, we have one huge, great, uh, great deposit, so which was probably going to be a primary source. But we also have a bit of a trickle from here and here. What we don't have is a source of Gallicite. And that is something I haven't noticed. And that is something that is going to become an issue. So... Let's quickly have a look. Now, this is only colonies that we are currently mining. Let's have a look at what we've got uh, that we are not currently mining. So, Venus. Uh, we definitely want to get some mines on Venus. Do we? Well, we have a high high quantity below accessibility macassium source, but we already have two of those. 
So not necessarily any good. And Iridium is another bad accessibility source. And we have a good one and we have another bad one anywhere in Geelong. So Venus might not actually need to be a colony at all. So, um, yeah. We'll actually abandon Venus. We don't need a colony there. Gone. Borelli. Uh, Boronide, Sorium, and Iridium, and... Well, Boronide, Borelli is a um, comet, so um, we'll be using the asteroid miners there. But uh, Boronide... Well, we ha don't have an income at the moment, so that might be okay to just get a little bit of an emergency trickle. Uh, sorium and Iridium. So the Sorium deposit is basically nothing. Uh, iridium, we have a good deposit currently being mined, so no big deal there. Uh, Macaults, uh, but so but it, it, it'll come in use, useful. So Borelli has Boronide 58586, and it's a uh, mediocre deposit. Uh, sorium is 12113, and it's kind of a bad deposit because it's tiny, but no big deal. And Iridium has 82951, and yeah, it'll do. Uh, Macaults has Galacite, so Macaults will definitely want to tag. And Macaults, well, we'll just tag this as gray. Uh, Macaults has Tritanium, 11561, and mediocre. It has Venderite, which is 16761, which is a mediocre deposit. And it has Galacite, which is 25672. And... Oh, it's mediocre. Just because quantity is kind of crap. Uh, wild is not a huge deal. Ink has nothing that we really want. Krantor is empty. Geoteam is, hasn't completed, but... You know what? Bugger it. No, just ditch it. Uh, stuff in a terma has nothing on here and geoteam is completed no planetary governor no ground units no buildings abandon uh, why are they so resorting? okay Hertha has nothing special Europa has just a little bit of Duranium Prolixa has a little bit of Duranium, not worth it Cromwell it's not worth it Although it's being mined, so that's probably why it's not worth it. Oh, 10 years. Eh, whatever, keep it. Uh, your Frosny is empty and surveyed. Oh, it's got mass drivers. Okay, uh, let's pull those mass drivers off. Um, and we'll just... Demand two, okay. So, your Frosny, uh, is it being mined? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, Ink has a little bit of Macassium. Wild has a little bit of stuff. Macaults is currently being mined as well. So, that's fine. That's why we're getting our Galacite at the moment. Um, okay. Brisbane C2. Probably not worth it. Uh, we haven't conquered these, so we're not going to do a big deal. And, well, Sydney's just going to get done. So, and that's just a bad deposit. We'll, we'll use the, we'll use Sydney as an emergency trickle. Or like an emergency deposit or an emergency uh, mineral dump. Okay, so now that we've covered that, and we have an idea of what we need, we need to go for Galacite. Uh, let's look at our minerals. And Galacite. Uh, nothing really that special in Perth. A3 has a good amount of it. But it's low accessibility. So let's look elsewhere. Adelaide. 
Uh, not really. I'd like to see one actually isn't too bad. Um, good amount of decent accessibility, lots of deranium with high accessibility, and not much of anything else. Okay, you know what, let's, uh, where is it? Where is Adelaide? That's down here. Adelaide. Oh, it's silver and B though, isn't it? No, it's C. Oh, that's close in. That'll be worth it. Okay, we'll create that colony as a uh, for later. Adelaide C one. Ugh, get rid of that. Um, so good duranium, pretty good gallocite, bit of titanium. So th this will be a good. This will be a good mining outpost. All right, we 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 can sort that out. Uh, let's set shell water to transit back and get an Adelaide jump point jump gate on. Ah, oh, that's already got a jump gate. Cool. Just for next time. Okay. Now, what are we up to at the moment? Well, we're doing salvage. All right, we're doing salvage and cargo. We're building mines. We are expanding into Melbourne. Uh, into Victoria and Melbourne. That is good. And we're getting particle beams. We're doing construction factories, even though we don't have any construction things in there. So that's fine. Now, just very quickly, um, who was it who mentioned it? No, it's on here. Um, I'll find them. Uh, so somebody mentioned that we don't necessarily want all these ground units over on Melbourne because um, we're moving a whole bunch of construction brigades. Um, so we would require to have a lot of these guys to be, uh, to have high xenology um, offices, right? Let's go have a look at who we've actually got as our construction brigade. Uh, can we see? Okay, so construction brigades start here. Construction brigade. Right. Okay, so we got Xeno 10, Xeno 15, 15, 15, 20, 20, 25, 30. So we probably want just these two, really, because the Xeno team. Um, the Xeno skill of the officer directly affects the likelihood of um, a factory actually being recovered. So these Xeno ten, this Xeno 10 guy is very, very likely to actually ruin what we are trying to dig up. So we actually don't want him here at all. So this guy and this guy are probably the only ones we actually want. And uh, who's that? 31st and 32nd brigades. They're the only ones we actually want. So, what we're actually going to do is we are going to... Has he actually transferred any? I don't think he has transferred any at all, or at all yet. Who's, who's currently on Melbourne? Yeah, so he's finished the assault and garrison, but he hasn't actually moved any these guys. Okay, so, strip them all out. We're going to go Transit Soul, Refuel, and who are we loading? We are loading 27th, 28th? No. We're loading 32nd Construction Brigade. 32nd Construction Brigade. And then we are transiting to Melbourne. We're going to... Uh, drop off the team, and we are going to unload 30 seconds. Then we're going to go back to Australia. We're going to load ground unit, and we're going to load 31st. And then we're going to go and drop them off in Melbourne.
There we are. So two of them will work nicely. A um, little bit faster than just one. But at the same time, they have we have a high xenology. The five gap is a little bit annoying. But it's nowhere near as bad as having a ten. So we're going to get a two best xeno ground combat guys to do our digging. Which is good. Let's just check to make sure these guys don't have a fantastic Xeno guy that could have been gone in there. Nope, that's fine. Okay. Uh, and of course, that'll mean that we can get over there a lot faster. All right. So. Doria. All right, so he's just heading off, to, off from Melbourne. That's fine. Let's keep on moving on. All right, we're getting unrest in Geelong, Melbourne, and Mars. Oh, Stefano Terma has established a civilian mining colony. What are they doing? Sorium and Iridium. We can always use more Sorium. And we have plenty of wealth, so we're going to purchase the minerals. And send them to Straya. So, Sorium, Iridium, kill. Cool. Good enough. Uh, morale increase of 3rd Infantry Battalion. Good. Oh, that's fine. Um, the other thing that is important to, um, uh, to construction brigades is, of course, their morale. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the morale only increases uh, depending on... Um, uh, by having them actually do stuff. So there's not really too much that we can do right now. So, uh, just very quickly, Perth B1, how's our ground units doing? Their morale is, is good. Their readiness is climbing back up slowly. That's fine. How is our invasion fleet going? Uh, they are, and they're still on their way. They're still 13 days away. Okay. No, nope, should be popping in any moment now. Okay. Commercial expense 29 complexes. That's fine. Let's keep on going. One good thing is that the garrisons are going to be build, building up significantly slower than... Well, about the same as our guys, so... We'll be fine. We're still training lots and lots of ground units, which is good. We uh, do need a couple more brigade headquarters as well. We only have one that's actually being built at the moment. Oh, well, no, there's, there's a second one here. But we're getting some divisional headquarters as well, which is going to be nice. Um... We'd, we'd also ideally want to have our best guys in our uh, in our actual headquarters. Like this 22%, we'd be better off in the brigade headquarters, so it gets the bonus to everybody, um, rather than being in the actual division. So might want to shuffle around some of our uh, ground force officers. So... Um, ground force... Training rating, I believe, increases their actual skill. So, these guys would actually probably be better in their uh, headquarters. I think I'll wait until we get the divisional headquarters and just put the best guys in there rather than reshuffling them around now and later. So, okay. Let's keep on going. Do we have any actual order mines here? No, we just have uh, 700 mines that are, not, that are not doing us any good. I suppose we could always just move them to Luna. Like, or uh, Mars. Mars could always do with more, la more uh, mines. So, uh, oh no, they actually have a worker shortage at the moment. So, oh, because they're building their own mines. Pfft. Okay, fine, whatever. You do that then. Um... Barely have enough workers in Mercury at the moment, so we're just going to hold off on them doing anything right now. 
I mean, they have 400 mines, so it's not a huge deal. Most of the, granted, most of them are auto mines, but, you know. Uh, Melbourne has worker population, has a population shortage. Uh, Geelong actually has a couple of workers. So we can get some mines over there. Okay, let's go do that. 1.3 million, we can afford... Oh, we already have mines on the way. Okay, never mind. All right, so we'll just let them go as is. Okay. There's our uh, uh, troop transport guys down there. Victoria. Okay, it's coming back with uh, 30 seconds. Cool. We got some headquarters and some guys. So we got finished training. Okay. Uh, we've got brigade headquarters, so you guys can go into 74th. Good. Okay. So we have three brigade headquarters. Um, let's let's get a couple more. Because we've got a we got this guy building for these. Uh, we need another brigade headquarters for these guys. And then... Oh, I just got some armor cadres. We've got two divisional headquarters. They're basically going to cover our entire army at the moment. Um... Mm. You know what? Get a couple of garrisons. Just a little bit of grinding out. How's the salvage ships doing, by the way? Speaking of which... Uh, class scanned. Target speed rating of 2000. Ion drives. Fox cooled reactor. Thermal sensor. Near ultraviolet laser. We've got a couple more lasers. Awesome. How are you? How is uh, cargo doing at the moment? Although they really should be called salvage. They've got hundred thousand cargo space left. Going for wreck thirty one. Okay. Got seven lasers on us at the moment. Nice. Um, lasers are definitely going to get dropped off at uh, Melbourne for uh, dismantling. Okay. Keep on going. Uh, is Convert coming in to drop off the geology team? Are you guys mining? Yeah, you're mining and sending to Melbourne. Good. That is fine. So Melbourne is going to start picking, dropping off resources. Uh, they're not getting any neutronium though. No neutronium, no gallocyte. But... Yeah, Victoria's got everything except Neutronium and Gallocyte. So, they're not building any ships or shipyards, but they should be able to build anything else. So, um, yeah, that's why I wanted the extra construction brigades, so they could build stuff. So, we're not going to have two construction brigades here. So, production rate's going to be kind of crap until we can get those up. Ah, well. Ooh, okay, so we got reload rate 3. Yeah, we got better than that. Fire controls, iron drives, missile launchers, thermal sensors, and minerals. Cool. Uh, team dropped off. Maintenance failure. Mm. 
reactor failure, yeah, okay. So now that we have our Xeno team on Melbourne, uh, we don't have to tell them to do anything. They will sit there and they will automatically figure out uh, what uh, kind of ruins are in here. So yeah, they'll, they'll basically do that on their own. So that's fine. Okay. 20,000 tons. Oh, they got plenty. They got plenty. Yeah, okay. Nothing else going on. The great thing is that the construction um, brigades can work just fine on both building stuff and at the same time doing uh, their xenology duties. So, alright. Melbourne now has one one um, construction factory worth. So they will be able to build one construction factory in about 10, five years. Okay, five years. Uh, we're getting a second one, so it'll be only two and a half years. Okay, two and a half years is fine. Right. So they're not exactly going to be doing anything fancy. Ah, second battle squadron is done, so we can go and have them collect uh, our brigade headquarters. So, pick up, pick up, pick up, entire formation. Uh, they've got full fuel, yes. We're going to go to Perth B and unload all ground units. It's going to take them while to get there and do the loading and unloading, but... It's fine. We've got time. And our troops over there need to uh, rest and recover as well. Got a fair amount of uh, unrest all over the place. Uh, Grendel. Magazine, thermal sensor, missile launcher, fire control, and ion drives. Nothing fancy or special in there. And we still have 92, 97,000. So they, they can just keep going. Keep on going. Do their thing. So, that's nothing to really worry about. Let's go have a look at Perth, see how our salvager is doing. Cleaning up these wrecks. Nice. It'd be great if we had a better salvager. Might have to build a better one uh, at some point. How is Australia doing? Stockpile 3,000? Okay, let's build another lab, maybe? Yeah, we can build two labs. Two more labs, please. Yeah, we're collecting unrest. We might need to go for another for a, um, a second terraformer because we, we we need we need to get the terraforming done faster, and multiple terraformers can multiple terraform multiple planets, so uh, that'll eventually help with uh, all kinds of unrest issues. We're down to six point eight at the moment. Nice, very very nice. <clears throat> yeah, just salvage just so slowly. I mean, it's not exactly a huge problem, right? It's not like we're in any kind of real rush to salvage. Not really. Criminal falling of our battle group. Uh, okay, who has the mines? It was the Caracal, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Okay. Let's um let's load your weapons. Sign all none. Sign all none. Sign all. No, no. None. Okay. So, we want one kookaburra. And we want... A bunch of jack jumpers. Yep, that's it. So, Caracal, what I want you to do is I want you to go to this jump point, launch missiles at. I'm going to go to this jump point, launch missiles at. Uh, we're going to drop... We're going to go to Perth A1 and launch missiles at. I think that's about all of them. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we got a lab on Australia. Perfect. Let's go put it to use. Let's uh, let's let's finish up with this heavy assault battalion as soon as possible. I want it done. Uh, one thing. Oh, no, 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 it's here. Okay. Ah. Our, our uh, reinforcements are arriving. Oh, Caracal forgot to refuel. Damn it. Refuel from target fleet. Yeah, and there's a double hump there. It's 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 fine. Okay, magazine uh, missiles dropped. Head back and refuel, please. And it's out of fuel. Of course, it's out of fuel. You know what? Just, just go collect it. We need some cruisers. We need some high efficiency cruisers is what we need. Ah, we got a divisional headquarters done. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's go have a look at ground units. Uh, we kind of need them to be moved around, so... Mm, fuck it. Okay. Just do whatever. Um, I'll wait for these guys to finish and then I'll train more. So no caracals run off fuel. Why are you guys going that way? Oh, because you're absorbing the wrong thing. Damn it, no, absorb caracal. Ugh. No. Absorb him. It's fine. Has, would, that, then haven't really lost too, too much out of that. Uh, Vithar has been salvaged. EM detection, magazine, launcher, iron drive, launcher, iron drive, fire controls. That's a fair amount of stuff that they found. Oof. Only 62,000 is left. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Next one's only 10,000 tons. Next one is 10,000. 
and then a whole bunch of tiers. So, okay. We've still got plenty of room for what they're uh, doing. Uh, an active lab in Australia. Good. Let's put it into heavy assault. Uh, we have 3,000. So, build. Okay. Let's actually now go and redesign our asteroid miner and um, terraformer. So we're going to copy this design. And what we're going to do is we're going to first things first, get new armor. Okay. So now we're on composite. Uh, we're going to take these 10 uh, commercial nuclear thermals, which are absolutely atrocious. And we're going to run some nice um, mag plasmas. So for half of the engines, we get 50% more speed. So not really much saving in terms of tonnage, but and actually more expensive in terms of actual build points, but faster, which is nice. But speed isn't really an issue. What about range? 20 billion, 31 billion. Nice range boost. That's fine. Okay. Uh, last but not least, I'm wondering if we should get an additional 10 modules. What's that going to do? 788. That's very expensive. But at the same time, we can kind of afford that. It's only 6,000 Duranium. Speed is back down, back down low again. So let's get five more engines. Um... Yeah, 372, that's fine. We're back down to 20 billion. That's also fine. Uh, we can actually save a fraction of a cost by getting huge uh, fuel storage. Or just ultra large. That's a little bit excessive. 42 billion, there we go. That's fine. So we got nice, better armor, uh, better engines, double the terraforming capacity. Uh, we've got the orbital hab, we've got crew quarters, fuel storage, engineering spaces, bridge. So, it's a significant increase in everything. But, it'll do. And we're going to rename this the... Let's keep going with the water theme. Or waterway theme, as the case may be. So, River, we are going to obsolete you. Uh, what was the wisp? Oh, it's a lifeboat. Okay. So, a little PDC stream. It's twice the duranium we have, but it'll do. And we're going to make one of them. That will significantly improve our terraforming capability, which I do actually want. Okay, so Battle Squadron has absorbed a little wayward friend. Equalize fuel. We might not have the fuel to go back to Australia, actually. Um, so what we're going to do is... We are going to go to Perth A2. We're going to... Refuel from own tankers on Perth A2. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send the Caracal ahead. Yes, I know. Perth A2 and launch missiles at. And then rejoin 2nd Battle Squadron. Now, that's he's significantly faster, so he's probably just going to run forward and catch up. Um, so, we'll get, the, we'll, we'll, we'll get those mines out. That's for sure. Um, what I'm also going to do now is I'm also going to send 
our tankers. This one. Refuel. And provided that he manages to actually refuel. Because how much fuel does Australia have? 37 million. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. Huge. Okay. So, refuel. And then we're going to go to Victoria. Perth. And uh, refuel target fleet. And then head back and refuel. That might be enough. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there you are. Okay, you're there. It's fine. We could potentially even send the camel out. But I think the camel's obsolete anyway. Yes, we know the population's detected. Yes, we know that it has a thermal signature. Okay. Missile have dropped. Heading back. Okay, so I guess now we're not going to trigger um, detection on the on these guys because we have them detected permanently. Third track is speed of three thousand. Galchheim has been finished, salvaged. Good. Go do something else now. Uh, Caracal has low fuel. Yep, no surprise there. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. So, second battle squadron, refuel from my tankers, and then start heading to refuel from there. Um, as soon as they've finished refueling, we're going to send um, double hump over to get that done. Ha 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 ha! Perth B1 now has additional. Wait, no, it doesn't. Melbourne has both our construction brigades. So, yeah, now it's going to only take like two and a half years. Uh, we have our high Xeno teams. Good. Uh, Governor doesn't really have much Xenology, so we might switch. So an administrator for Xeno Archaeology. Uh, Max Burton, where are you? Oh, he's part of our Xeno team. Okay. I might get him to actually take over as soon as the Xeno guys are done. Or we could just send... No, it's not useful anywhere else. He's, he's not really useful either. She's useful, but she's got the... But she's in Mercury. A uh, bit of a mining bonus. And a bit of factory bonus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll send you... So we'll, we'll, we'll place you. We'll lose... Oh, I don't want to lose the mining bonus. We'll lose so much mining bonus. No, the mining bonus isn't important right now. Isaac Tyler, you will get Melbourne back eventually, but we need somebody with the Xeno team. We need somebody with the Xeno skill in charge first. EM detection signature. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Uh, particle beam on Melbourne has been done. Good. Particle beam strength. Cue it up. Uh, yeah, that's the only research. Fine. Uh, second battle group has, has begun heading back. So, second battle squadron. We are going to split the double hump and... Head straight to refuel. 2025. Wow, they're actually significantly faster without the tanker. Okay. Never mind. 
I thought the ta I thought the uh, tanker could outrun them, but I guess it cannot. Okay, that's that's fine. This gives it a bit more time for our um, for the other double hump to get here. Where are they, by the way? Yeah, they're on their way. So it looks like whenever we send the battle fleet out to Perth, uh, we're going to have to um, send the second tanker out with them. Because one's not enough. Ooh, ceramic composite armor is almost done. Oh, waste! Waste! We're most of the way through. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Ceramic composite is done. Uh, starting work on beta shields at the moment. So that's going to be a bit less than a year. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. Really should have left the mines up here too. Didn't think of it. Oh well. Ah, assault infantries are nice and done. So, uh, these are divisional headquarters. We don't have any brigade headquarters. So, uh, we have two incoming, but... Okay, so two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, we need... Brigade. Assault infantry. Brigade. Assault infantry. Oh, nice. Okay. Jump drive efficiency is almost done as well. What do we have next for power and propulsion? We have reactor power boost. Yeah, cool. That'll do. That'll do for now. Ground combat bonus is of zero. Ugh. Useless. I suppose they train him. So they've got that. Alright, jump drive efficiency is better, so jump drives are going to be nicer. So our next generation of jump tankers, when we actually need them, uh, I guess will be good. Yes, we know you're there. Yes, we know you're there. We know you're still there. Alright. So now, Perth B has received reinforcements. Look at all those lovely assault infantry um, battalions. So we do still have a few with, with low readiness, but we have a lot with full, and we were kind of already evenly matched anyway. So let's go team. Gonna have ourselves a nice war. Grand war. Alright. What do we got? Unrest, unrest. Uh, power boost done. Yeah, no surprise. Minimum engine modifier. That'll be probably done in like a week. Uh, morale increase. Um, 396. So we basically doubled our attack strength. Combat ratio 1.6. Well, 1.7. So we are significantly stronger than they are now. Um... In officer update, increased combat bonus due to experience. 65th assault loses 23 readiness. Um, morale decreased, readiness lost. Morale increased, readiness lost. Morale increased. Uh, and it made casualties 32, 9, 7, 15. That's good. Yeah, I, that is that is very acceptable. That is very acceptable.
Next, um, we did lose a little bit of combat ratio. Oh, turret salvage, just mineral. Ugh. Oh no, we got box launchers. Okay. Um, increase, 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 increase. But only enemy casualties this time. And significant enemy casualties as well. 14, 30, 19, 17, 23, 34. I expect our combat ratio to jump significantly from 1.75. Let's see what it's at now. 1.75. Morale, yeah. Um, uh, combat ratio is 1.9 now. Yeah, nice. Training rate up. Um, experience, ground combat bonuses up. We have destroyed two entire garrison units and dealt pretty good damage to, uh, to other to another two. So yeah, no, we we we've got this in the bag now. Got ourselves good amount of damage. Uh, second battle squadron and double humper done. Really, they're all the way back. That was quick. Oh, I think he just spent his entire time chasing. Or oh, he managed to actually refuel. Whatever. They're back at Seoul. That's fine. Um, we can probably just overhaul them. Yeah, maintenance clock is too high. We're just going to run overhaul. Okay. Let's uh, let's get our next ba round of battle. and see if we can get that conquest. Yes, I know. Okay. Uh, double their strength now. Enemy casualties 38, 14, 36. And promotion to Brigadier General. So we're getting some promotions off our officers. Battlefield promotions. Nice. But yeah, we've um, we've pretty much done this. Massive casualties on enemies. I mean, we destroyed 15th Garrison. And we'd, we our, our office is just getting better and better and better. Um, and th they're just getting absolutely smashed. We're just completely overwhelming them. We're up to 2.2 combat ratio at the moment. Um, we've inflicted further heavy casualties. Only losing minor readiness on 33rd Assault. Combat ratio is a 2.4, which is just going to make it even harder and harder for us to actually lose any readiness. Um, and yeah, uh, Rex Salvage, another tur. Yeah, okay. Turrets are still running on Ion Drive. Fire controls on the tur only have 11 million kilometer range. Interesting. Uh, more heavy casualties inflicted. Um. 64th suffered some ca some damage, but no huge deal. We're up at 2.7. Uh, no garrisons destroyed, but still very, very heavy casualties. The battle is fierce, but 32nd and 30th garrisons have been destroyed. I really hope they don't have 36 garrisons on this one rock. Heavy damage on the others. Uh, combat ratio is at 3.3. And, ah ha Ruins exploited. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Let me see, let me see. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, ruins in Melbourne have been fully surveyed by the Max Burton Xenologist team. The alien race which inhabited the planet has been identified as a Commonwealth of Grafter, and their language and symbology has been translated. Two! <laughs> 169 abandoned installations. God damn noise. Mm. That is a good find. 
That's amazing. What is it? It's got to be a city. 260. Yeah, it's a huge. Unfortunately, they're tech level 1. So, we're basically what we're going to basically get out of them is utter garbage. <sighs> Okay. Uh, we have a 31% uh, commanding, uh, commanding officer. We could stick them in a construction brigade and send them on over. Or we could replace Yiglin Nayan on 31st construction. 31st construction. Okay. Uh, ground force officers. With Xeno Archaeology bonus. So... Reese Sutton is already 32nd, and I thought we had a... Hang on, so who, who, who was it? Oh, Porsche is a naval officer. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, let's start exploiting stuff. So, I doubt we're going to get anything amazing, but we should get a whole bunch of resources. We're probably going to get a whole bunch of fuel. 24th garrison is destroyed and massive damage to enemy forces. Excellent. We're up at four times their strength. Totally overwhelming them. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, enemy casualties. Another three garrison units destroyed and massive damage on the others. Uh, experience gained. Well, we actually took a little bit of damage this time. Good shot, guys. 9,000 tons of neutronium on Melbourne. Woo! Go team! Uh, 36th and 28th and 19th garrisons have been completely destroyed. Further heavy casualties on the rest. Ratio is now at 7.6. Uh, nothing recovered though. Uh, 22nd, 18th, 17th battalion destroyed. Bracca B garrison 1 destroyed. We are up at 13. They can't have much left. They, 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 they just can't have much left. There's got to be like a handful of um, garrison forces left. And bam, 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 bam. Four destroyed. No other damage. I think that's done it. I, re I really think they've done it. I, I, I don't see how they, they have anything else. We should we should have a conquest now. There we go. Uh, general ground attack. Okay, so once the enemy has no more troops, you begin a general ground attack, uh, which will basically uh, compare your uh, attack strength versus the population's police strength, if I remember correctly. Uh, and if yours is higher than theirs, then you win. Oh, we got damage control salvaged from the wall. Oh, we're salvaging our, our old waller. So that's our ship that we're salvaging. Okay. Production bonus of 41. Nice. Uh, 180 points of abandoned infrastructure on Melbourne. Nice. And, uh, okay. Perth B1 has been conquered. So now we have... Perth B1 Australians. Uh, we also have Perth B1s Australians with the auto mines. So this one here is our, which is our imperial population. That is where our ground units are. All right. So that's 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 our um, basically our military base. Up here is the actual conquered conquered colony. So you can see that they are currently conquered, which means they have uh, zero, which means they have a twenty percent penalty to um, production modifier and wealth and trade modifier 
their efficiency modifier is zero. Why? They have no infrastructure. Oh, because there's no people here. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do we actually conquer? We conquered a mass. We conquered a mining colony. There's nothing here. It's a mining colony. Okay, so we got 151 order mines and a mass driver. Cool. Um, so we're digging up decent drop of uranium, neutronium, cobalt mine, titanium, boronite, vendorite, iridium, and corundium. So not too shabby. There's a million tons of resources on this rock. So I guess. Cool, it'll start just building up on the stockpile. That's fine. Um, there's nothing really here that we need. So, okay, we'll uh, we'll leave our troops here. What I'm actually going to do, just in case, just, well, the enemy, NPRs don't invade. It's not much, not much point doing with it. So we'll just leave it there and we'll let it stockpile. Um, so that's it then. Uh, we've managed to fully survey the ruins on Melbourne. And we have begun digging crap out of it. Uh, and we have managed to conquer Perth B1, which is awesome. We are now halfway, as far as we can tell, to conquering Perth. Uh, next step is going to be to land some troops onto Perth A3 and see what kind of, um, what kind of fun we can make. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time and may the fourth be with you.